here we are. Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing alright. This is a bit of an impromptu stream. I didn't uh, stream last night because of reasons and stuff and thought I'd try and make it up by doing a quick little stream today. Do a bit of bug catching. I'm not too sure how many more there's going to be actually considering how close Sinnoh is. I mean, last stream we looked at it and it was like 99.5 and yeah, we suspect like a few days, maybe next week and it'll be done. Let's just check this out. Should we any any mail? <gasps> Ooh. One second, guys. Terribly sorry about that, guys. So, Skillimus has sent me a message. It says dot dot dot. And it says, probably the last one before Sino gets released. Need to stock up on some items. Or the last mail. Oh, he gave me a hundred bloody ninja ropes or whatever. Escape ropes. Holy crap. Thank you so much. They're not cheap. They're not cheap. Wow, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to need them. Like a lot of them. Yeah, sorry about that. I thought the house was pretty much free, but not as free as I thought. That's why I'm doing it now. I'm trying to catch like any gap I can where like I can do a quick look stream. I don't usually stream on Sundays. The house is just like busy all day. Internet is busy and I thought I was fine but nope. I had to have a quick little uh, poke at a uh, little talk to someone for a second there. So apologies for leaving you standing there waiting. Cool, right. Man, if only I just leave. If only I just left a couple more minutes. Oh well, one can't time these things. That's that's annoying, but whatever. Oh look, it's tel telekinogoif. Why? She's got a cute kind of like cube cubey whatever head thingy. But yeah, right. Let's look. let's do what you're all here for. I don't imagine there's going to be a huge number of people around. That pisses me off every time it says excellent one L. I'm gonna have to like message on the forums or something. <laughs> it keeps bothering me. And again, a lot of things like that would bother me. But yeah, as I said, I don't expect there to be many people around because you know this is like 12 hours before I would usually do a stream. So, but you never know. Maybe I'll get a whole new bunch of people turning up that I've never seen before. Wouldn't that be exciting? I didn't post on the forums though. Maybe I should do that. Although I've already started my bug catching, so they'll turn up and then only be 15 minutes left. Ah, balls. I probably should have thought about that. I thought YouTube and Twitter would have been enough. Right, so let's see if we can get something good today, shall we? I think last time I ended up for a fairly good Pokemon. I think got first, in fact, with like a Heracross or something, wasn't it? I can't remember. There's still stuff happening in house. This is really annoying. Actually, I chose like the only time that I could possibly stream, and it's still, <sighs> yeah want to buy my own office or before that even want to buy my uh, a better internet connection if I had better internet I could stream games that weren't like 2D and pixelated like this I could stream like uh, PUBG for example or Minecraft even Dark Souls would be amazing too these are all things that I could do 
Oh well. Maybe in the future, who knows? <laughs> as much as it is with like my family motto, we just needs must. We do we do what we can with what we've got, you know. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Got loads of stuff that's been like repaired like five, six times in the house and stuff. It's just yeah, whatever. As long as it still works. I think those two things I just said don't necessarily align, but whatever. Whatever. Let's actually catch this since I've not had anything to catch yet. Good job, you fall asleep. Yeah, usually at this point I'd be like, yeah, how's everyone doing and stuff, but well, we have got some people in chat. Cool, welcome. Welcome to my uh, to my Pokemon stream. Uh, he's asleep and low on life. Let's catch him. Don't don't usually stream at this point, so you guys might be completely new to my channel. So hi, welcome. I I do YouTube. I do Twitch. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing all right this Sunday morning. Just doing a bit of an impromptu stream because I didn't stream last night. So kind of hopefully gonna make it up slightly with this. Maybe <laughs> people can watch this video when it goes out like tonight. At the usual time. And they'll be like, huh? What? I didn't remember this stream. And yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's been nice. Recently, I've been having quite a few uh, new regulars. Like a new wave of regulars. And whatever happened to, like, the last wave of regulars? And before that, like, the old wave of regulars? Because. Sometimes I go quite some time and between streaming regularly, like I stream regularly for like a few months and then, then I stop. You know, for like half a year and then I stream regularly for a few months and then I stop. So obviously you don't necessarily always retain like all of the, the viewers like from the original the original kind of wave of regulars, so So yeah, got got loads of different people that turn up. Hopefully loads of the older people turn up, that'd be really nice. Especially as I'll be streaming Sinnoh soon, probably next week. Hey, maybe maybe tomorrow, who knows. At this point, I'm not too sure when Sinnoh's coming out. It could be any day now. And good news on that front, actually. Um, first pay people to hear about it, potentially. It's good news and ultra Fuck it. Need some more of them, actually. And other stuff I, need, I should restock. Yeah, so... Um, the house is going to be pretty empty for the next couple of weeks. Which is good because it kind of almost coincides with Sinnoh, so it means um, I've been saying for the last couple of weeks that I would probably have to stream at 11 p.m. GMT or BST rather, just because of the house being noisy and stuff. But since the house is going to be relatively empty for the next fortnight, I actually might be able to stream Sinnoh at like 6 p.m. and stuff like that, like I used to, like last year and the year before. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. Oh, hello. I've been logging on every day only to see if Sinnoh is out, but then I just leave. Um, well, I, I check the forum, that's what I've been doing. I've been checking the uh, Sinnoh progress forum. And it's currently at uh, 99.5, with mass testing. And I think um, some of the head developers mentioned on like a stream or something that is going to be out next week, and that was a couple of days ago, so... I need some tier 3s or tier 4s, that would be nice. Ow. Go to sleep. Hey, Fire Frost. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please go to sleep. Not you, this Pokemon. I guess I'm just catching all these tier twos. I don't know why. I probably need to stock up a lot of stuff for Sinnoh, which will be soon. So yeah, there's a few like few things you do on like a checklist, ready for a new region. This is <laughs> this is my first rodeo, as it were. I've got ready for a new region several times, so obviously stock up on basic items like Pokeballs, potions, etc. And an important thing to do that a lot of people don't think about is remove items from your Pokemon. Just pretty much all of the items that you can find, remove them. Because you won't have a access to them um, whilst you're in Sinnoh. So, yeah. And, you know, some items aren't that amazing, but it might be useful to have a couple leftovers or some dark glasses or whatever. Because, usually, um, because Pro is a lot harder than usual Pokemon games, you're going to come across some gym leaders that are really hard to do, and having like the extra kind of 20% damage or 10% damage that an item would grant you would be useful. Or if you forgot to take items from your Pokemon, you might end up having to like rebuy some items that you already own because you didn't take them off. 
like water medallions or whatever so yeah that's a good thing to do I say a checklist the checklist has like two or three points in it not really a checklist go to sleep please please go to sleep he's faster than me what the, f what the fudge oh what fine whatever just get in the great ball what are you guys seeing over here why do you not stream on YouTube I prefer Twitch because Twitch is better says Serpent everyone does their streams on YouTube not really I think most people do it on Twitch that I'm aware of yeah Twitch is like the streaming site I think I've seen like two people stream on Twitch maybe like and like thousands of others use the use the uh, I think did I just say that wrong I might have said that wrong I'll, I'll start that sentence again I've seen about two people stream on YouTube and like thousands upon thousands on Twitch I can never ne can never remember what I've said like because I do I don't have this memory like I think like my memory problems are almost like reaching kind of like the medical kind of side of not good uh, so much so that uh, I forget the start of my sentence when I'm halfway through it. That's not good. So, when games have mazes and stuff, I'm fucked. I literally have to luck my f way through them, because I cannot remember. Like, have I passed this tree before? Did I turn left last time I reached this chest? I can't remember. And stuff like that. But yeah, Serpent is saying Twitch is way bigger. Let's catch this guy and then just see what we've got and just release some chilly ones. and go to sleep but yeah I think maybe I should have started this stream a little bit uh, later that way there wouldn't have been all that noise and interruption at the start I thought everyone had buggered off but you know whatever I can't really extend it um, further either because you know this bug catching 20 minutes that's it you know what most am I going to do could do some rim board maybe but it's not as fun if you don't have loads of people to I suppose I've got some people, I've got some viewers here, but usually I've got loads of people, like loads of regulars and stuff. Will you just get in, I've had enough to just get in the wall. There we go. The stream is going to be probably half an hour, and we've already been doing it for like 12 minutes. Because bug catching is 20 minutes. There's not much I can do about that. But I mean, unless you can think of something else I could do after the bug catching in this game, I might switch to Rimworld maybe. Uh, no. Need to actually see what it's what it's like. Oh fuck no! Wouldn't it suck if I like a Heracost had just appeared or something? Oh man, let's just quickly rate these. Pretty good actually. That's a pretty good Parasect. Second one can go away. I think all these probably can go away. Just the first one. Is any good? Hello. Thank you for following. Yeah, so, just the first one. Give me a bit of space. If you, if you, if, yeah, thank you. I mean, I've actually checked that one. Okay, cool, right, let's just do some more. Uh, how long is the stream going for and only do bug catching? What, are those two sentences together? Uh, I'm confused. Come on, Pokemon, so get some good ones. Got 10 minutes left. Okay, cool. Oh, Yanma. Is there a way I can see your channel commands? Uh, yes, apparently. <laughs> Nightbot has given you a link. Fucking Nightbot, how dare you. How dare you sh share my secrets. Sure, okay, yeah, just spam these commands, why not? <laughs> I didn't even know they, this channel had that many commands. I don't know, I don't really use them. Get in the ball. 916 followers, holy shit. Honestly, the last time I checked my, my follower count was like 400. My god. I'm going to have to do something special for a thousand, aren't I? I think that's what people do, right? I mean, I would say I'll do a giveaway or something, but chances are when I hit a thousand, I'm going to be like knee deep in Sinnoh. And doing giveaways are difficult. I mean, one, 
the recipient of the giveaway would have to be in Sinnoh as well, and two, I would have to actually, actually have, and two, I would actually actually have to have something to give away. So I would actually have to uh, have caught a shiny whilst in Sinnoh, which might happen. He do spend quite a lot of time like doing like a region playthrough. Yeah, I'm still a member for a bit longer, aren't I? Uh, but I suppose I could have some items I could give away, give away some rare candies, maybe. Or I could be a bit more meta and give away Steam Keys. i got tons of them, like, tons of them. Beedrill, sure. All these Tier 2s is making me sad. What else could you do, then? What do you mean, in, in reference to... I mean, I could stream some RimWorld, but... I think I'd rather wait until, like, you know, the usual time, like 11pm and everyone's here and all that kind of stuff. What's the best bugs to catch? Uh, there's actually a tier list. I uh, can't show you right the second because I've only got like a few minutes left. Oh shit, yeah, let's get down here. But the best ones are like the tier 4s and tier 3s, like Heracrosses and uh, Pincers and Scythers. Th uh, Scythers. Okay. Not a very good Beedrill or a very good Yanma. And this is a spinner rack. So far my best is that Parasect. Jesus. And um, a Shiny obviously is worth a whole bunch more. Even if the shiny that you've got, say you, might, I've actually done it before, but if you catch a shiny whilst you're bug catching, it's probably probably worth selling, uh, you know, giving it into the judge. Even if it hasn't got a good score because it gives you 100k. So you might as well. And uh, yeah, the, any ones that are rare that you don't usually see very often, probably worth catching. I suppose anyone, like even anything tier 2 and up could be pretty good if they've got good IVs. And if you catch a Pokemon with like, uh, I think it's 190, is it? Or is it 290 IVs? I can't remember which. Um, hand that in and you get like a cloak or something. Which I might have already got and like, something I've caught and I just never realised. On my first turn on bug catching I found two Heracrosses and still came second. Well yeah. It isn't a combination of Pokemon, which is what I initially thought. I thought, let's get five Heracrosses or something, but no. You pick one, obviously, so... And yeah, lately there have been a lot of people, like, I think I've seen, like, Skelemus and Lucario. They they had, like, Pokemon which, like, had ridiculous scores, like, 160 or was it... No, sorry, 260 or 270 or 280. And they got second. So yeah, sometimes the AI has stupidly good Pokemon, and sometimes they have really bad Pokemon. Speaking of really good Pokemon... It's a Heracross, go to sleep. Hopefully this will be good enough, five minutes left, to uh, win me today. Man, well, imagine if today was the day that I get, like, uh, that I get, uh, go on, yes, that I get a Master Ball or something. I not really looked at the uh, the first place uh, list. There's probably some good prizes on there that, I, you know, I just not looked at. I know Master Ball's on there, there's probably, like, a couple good Pokemon on there. Um, I usually get like three rare candies for coming first, so hopefully that Heracross will secure me first place, I hope. That would be nice. First ever stream I've been on, yeah. I don't usually stream at this time at all, usually I stream 12 hours from now. I think that's math mathematically correct. But as I said, I didn't stream last night, so I thought I'd just do one quickly today in the morning um, before the house got busy. But I, I mistimed it, it somehow. It's like, fuck, whatever. Because they don't usually stream on Sundays, because, you know, everyone's got the day off, so... Internet is really cluttered, and... Yeah. It would be nice to have better internet. Oh, hello. I think that's pretty freaking rare. Also, I don't think I've got one of these either, so I probably should catch it. Holy shit. Fantastic. Oh, I woke up. Good job. But yeah, I've only got one hypnosis left. Fuck, I should have paid attention to that. Shit. Got it though, yes. But yeah, I would love better internet because then I could like stream games that are 3D, like Minecraft for example. Yeah, I can't even stream that. It's pixelated, the shit. Oh no, spinner rack. I've got a 280, but lost. Is Twitch and YouTube your job? Pretty much, yeah. Not really capable, not really able to get what you'd call a real job, like due to medical reasons and stuff. 
And obviously it'd be a lot easier for me to make money on Twitch if I could actually stream like all the games I own. But like I'm limited just to just like the 2D games. Which is a pretty big handicap because my internet connection is so bad. 236, nice. But yeah, um, no, I, I actually got a, um, a Twitch Prime subscriber like I think it was yesterday or the day before. So holy shit, yeah. Wow. Got some pretty good Pokemon here. Let's get rid of the Beedrill and the Butterfree and carry on. But yeah, now that a new uh, a new region's coming out in Pro, I think uh, my YouTube channel will pick up a bit. Like, if a game is popular, then all the videos I've got on that game will like probably get a boost in views and stuff. And I've got a lot of Pro videos, so hopefully I'll gain like a couple extra dollars a month, maybe. Usually the way it works when it's popular, but yeah, I, I don't make much on YouTube. Like, I make enough to buy a Steam game maybe once a month. So yeah, but you can probably work out in your head how much that is. Not much. I don't have, I don't have hypnosis. Shit. Whatever. And yeah, I mean, a lot of YouTubers they use. YouTube as just a place to store their VODs and occasionally they do like videos but when they switch to Twitch that's it they use Twitch all the time because that's pretty much like a massive amount of money for them but you know not so much for me because I would need to have regular donations and uh, subscribers which as I've said before Game Wisp is the way to go for me because you know I'd actually get the money like the next day whereas if you if you were to subscribe with Twitch Prime or, or Twitch in general I won't get it for like probably half a year or so depending. So yeah, one minute left, shit. But hey, it'll build up, you know, eventually. I mean, if I had enough Twitch subscribers, then then I'll probably get paid almost immediately. It's just, you know, you need, you need a lot more money before it'll pay you for Twitch. With Game Wisp, it'll pay you regardless, which is much better. But yeah, so in order for Twitch to be like a main thing, I would need to have a lot of people donate regularly and subscribe. Hopefully they will. I've been doing this for like three years now, Twitch for three years, YouTube for like five, six years. 30 seconds left. So I always end up talking about this kind of stuff, I do apologize. I don't know, it's, it's because it, it it's on my mind a lot, as you would imagine since like this is like my only income, like YouTube and Twitch, of course it's on my mind all the time. I mean, I don't lose sleep over it. But it, it, yeah, whenever someone even mentions something vaguely related to it, I go into this big spiel. I do so. I do apologize. Okay, safari time is over. Let's see what you guys are saying in chat. Sorry. Uh, oh yeah, you said you got a 280 bit lost. Holy shit. Yeah, 290 gets you some love Esther rings, I think. Uh, do you ever ask for donations? Do you put ads on your videos? Well, yeah, um, ads on my videos are there by default because that's how you literally get money on YouTube. I usually put like two or three ads during the video depending on the length. If it's a stream VOD, I put like ten ads in there, whatever. Um, I, 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 I don't ask for donations. I might occasionally hint that they might be nice, but I don't think you should go out and ask. But I'm thinking next time I do a RimWorld um, stream, I might just change it to... Because you know RimWorld is like the post apocalyptic game. Ugh. I, that word's hard enough to, for me to pronounce anyway, usually. But yeah, I name my colonists after viewers, but I might change it so I name them after donations, like donators and subscribers. That'd be pretty cool, but I might end up with just like a load of guys with um, no unique names, so just have like the default names because no one will donate or wants to donate. I don't know. I, don't... I suppose you're not known to you try it. 222, that's not bad for a power sect. I suppose you don't know until you try. Maybe maybe it'll become like the best stream I've ever done. 259 for that Heracross. Holy shit. So 259 is the best so far. Uh, 236 for the Love Esther. And the Beedrill is. Yeah. So as I suspected, my best my best one is that Heracross. Yeah, I always feel bad when I talk about that. It's like, 
I don't want to ask for the notion. Yeah, oh, my I can't English. It's early in the morning for me. Shut up. I don't usually wake wait until like way way later than this. But yeah, I, I don't I don't want to ask for donations, but obviously it will mean a massive a massive amount for me. Like um, the other day when uh, Titanfall um, like subscribed, even though I won't get that money for a long long time, I still would like thank you, thank you so much. You know, it's like it means a lot. Okay, this guy is always a fucking okay. Eighteen shuckle. I think he's not going to beat me. Fuck, are you kidding me? 272 this guy has. Fuck, it's a bad day, guys. I've got second place at, at best. Hello. Thank you for following. Well, I've got second. That's a shame. It means I have to put away that Final Fantasy VII fanfare. I ain't hearing that today. And I'm certainly not going to give that Master Ball today. Oh, man, all these guys have good scores. I think I've got second. Ah, oh, that is a shame. Oh, well. The victor of today's contest is Camperberry with a bullshit score of 272. Runner-up is Hayek with 259. Hooray, me! Oh, my God, I just mentioned Titanfall and he's here. Holy shit. Is that how it works? I say someone's name and they appear on stream? I'll read your messages in a second, Titan, and everyone else. Hang on. Okay. You have been rewarded 10,000, yeah! Two rare candies, fuck yeah! Cool. What are you guys saying over here? Stream dislike for some reason. Hmm, not my end actually. Uh, cool. Who's Nightbot? It's my mod. Who's Nightbot? It's Nightbot. I like it, right? It's like a warden. Stop spam. Yes. Stupid Nightbot. Yeah, if I stream for a couple of hours, he chills out, but he just likes to spam at the start of the stream. Hello, I'm new here. Hello, Astromaniac. Welcome. I mean, the stream's about to end because I'm just doing bug catching. But please do, like, follow and subscribe to my YouTube, and uh, I'll be streaming pretty soon. Like, tomorrow. Maybe even tonight. I might potentially do a Rimworld stream tonight. Uh... Hello, I'm new here. I'm Titan. Oh, dad jokes. I follow him on YouTube. Now here too. Awesome. I've been here for a while. Wow. 10k from just catching bugs. I know, right? You can get 100k if you catch a shiny. Hey, Hayek. Did you get the level 100 Ratata team? Yes. And there are videos on my, on my channel about it. Just go to my YouTube channel. YouTube.com forward slash Hayek. And there's a video on there. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be too deep into the list. Sure, I'll be friends. It shouldn't be too deep into the into like all the videos. You can tell because the the thumbnail has like three shiny rotatas in the bottom right hand corner. And yeah. Suffice to say, as you can tell by the title of the video, it didn't go didn't go well. Like everything went wrong. But yes, I made the Rotata team. It took us six hours. Uh, I took three Pokemon, Skillimus took three Pokemon, and we trained them up to hundred each. So that means it would have taken me twelve hours. Maybe 10 hours if I had membership earlier, but yeah, fuck. Took a long time to do that. Okay, let's keep the Love Esther, because I don't think I've got one of them. Uh, keep the Heracross. I'm going to have all these bugs in my fucking box I'm not going to use or want. But yeah, uh, unless you guys have got ideas for what I should do next, um... I don't think I've got enough time to do a full Rimworld stream. Um, I could do if you want. I mean, I've got loads of viewers right now if you want me to. Um, it, I, to be fair, judging by how randy random is, I might it might be the right length. I might die after half an hour. I don't think there's anything else I can do in Pokemon right now, though, so... If you're here for that, then, you know, whatever. What are you guys saying? Okay, I watch. You do that. How come I can't buy a Super Rod or Good Rod? Really? Have you gone to the right NPC? You gotta to go to the right guy and he probably tells you to go to someone else and I can't remember how to do the rods. In fact, I don't believe I ever bought the super rod. I probably should do that at some point since I've got 200k right now. I would have to google it myself to find out where to buy it. Yeah, he friended me. Of course I would. You're one of the amazing people who've subbed to me. Of course I'll friend you. And I probably would have friended you anyway, but whatever. The NPC says you need membership. To buy the super rod? don't think so. Can you show me your team for bosses? Lol. 
that's the thing is bosses are one of the things I haven't done and I've got a couple of videos on my YouTube channel about the bosses that I've done I think I attempted two bosses and beat one of them maybe two of them but yeah I probably should do bosses I mean there's been like a, a, a six month gap where I didn't stream pro and maybe I should have been streaming boss runs at that point instead like every two weeks or whatever it is takes for like um, the bosses to refresh I don't know I just found it really hard like level 120 Pokemon and I think I discovered that I would need to train up some new Pokemon to 100 to have a chance because out of all the level 100 Pokemon that I own I don't think I had enough good ones to beat like all the bosses so no I, I can't train my boss team I don't have a boss team I mean I can show you my level 100 Pokemon I mean they'll be there somewhere in my boxes like in amongst all the fucking bugs I've got uh, I have no idea what Rimworld is, but I'll watch. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, do Rimworld. Do you got a Magic Cup? Fight Pumpkin King. I don't think I've even, I don't think I've even fought Pumpkin King, if I'm honest. That unlocks the berry, the berry shop, doesn't it? Is that you spell Magic Cup? Because if it is, I don't have one. Fuck. Okay, you spell it like that, and I have one apparently. I have one magic up. That's all I have. But yeah. Um. So as far as the hundreds are concerned, I've got a hunch crow up there. Um, I've got two hunch crows actually, because I leveled up a hunch crow for Kanto and again for for Hoenn, I think. Was it was it for Kanto and for Johto? Anyway, I used a hunch crow in my elite four team twice. I think it was Kanto and Johto. And I have to skip through all this to try and find, I've got a Feraligator, he isn't EV trained or anything at all, but, you know, he's there, he exists, he's a thing. And it's just a case of going through all these fucking, I've got all these Pokemon, Piplup. Well, yeah, that was given to me by a viewer, thank you. Speaking of Piplup, I'm probably going to pick him as my starter when Sinnoh comes out. I mean, I said this re repeatedly, but I inadvertently ended up picking up all three water starters. Because so much time happened between each region was released, um, hello, hello thank you for following. Um, every time I picked a starter, I couldn't remember at all what I had picked for, my, for the previous starters, and I ended up picking the water one just by pure luck. So, since now I've picked three three water starters, hello, hello thank you for following. I think now, just like by matter of tradition, I'm going to pick the water starter. As much as I would love to do Chimchar. And I've already played through the game on like my Game Boy Advance or whatever DS with um, the Turtwig as a main. And it's like, do I have any other ones in here? I've got some other Pokemon I'm sure that are like level 100 around. Man, I got a Jolteon there. Uh, he's probably, yeah, he's EV trained mostly, sort of. So yeah, if I was to do bosses, I, I've got a good like 10 level 100 Pokemon I could pick from. And I think six of them are EV trained. One of them belongs to a viewer, which I would love to give back if they ever turn up. I think his name is Angel, I think it is. So there he is, that's that's the one. Uh oh. Okay. That's not right. I think he might have trained it I think he might have traded it with someone else. Unless he's changed his name. Well regardless, this Pokemon isn't mine, it belongs to someone else. I want to give it back. What are you guys saying in chat? Sorry, I'll try and read it if I can. Uh, lucky. Yeah, Piplup is the best. Infernape is the best. No, Chimchar is better. Charmander is my main and every, <laughs> everyone else is my side chick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could go through, but I got loads of... Did I? I, I leveled up a crow, but I cannot remember doing that. I mean, it makes sense. I love poison types. But yeah, um, I think... Sure, I'll switch to Rimworld if you want, if you guys want me to. I'll end this now and um, I'll do Rimworld like straight afterwards. It'll take a couple minutes. I'll go grab a coffee, so don't go anywhere. I'll be streaming again like very, very shortly. But I'll end this one because I like having a nice clean cut between streams. So thank you so much for watching this like weird, impromptu, early morning bug catching stream. Like I didn't expect any of the regulars to turn up, but at least one did. Two, in fact, I think. So that reminds me, I'll add uh, Titan Fall to the regulars list since he's been here for quite a bit. But yes, oh, look at that coat, cloak. Why do all the cloaks look better than mine? I need to get a better cloak. Oh, she's changed her costume, Admiral. She's got, like, weird wing ears now. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you for the next stream very shortly. And um, I'll catch you for the next bug catching stream probably tomorrow, maybe? But for now, 
Look at that shiny houndoom. Fuck me. It's so pretty. But for now, keep getting distracted. Goodbye. Going now for real. Bye.